have to unhinge your jaw to get it in your mouth. The best hamburger I've had in Zhongshan. What I really like about Yellow Sub is they have all this, uh, all these uh, snacks and stuff that you can only get. But look at their drink selection. I mean, you can't find these drinks anywhere else here in Zhongshan. Yeah, Dr. Pepper, Canada Dry, Mountain Dew, come on, Arizona Tea, oh. And of course, one of the best things about this place is they have the best chocolate chip cookies. These are really, really good. Sometimes I just come here for the cookies. And of course, it's in this back alley, so it's away from the road a little bit. So I got the bacon cheeseburger. Pretty good amount of fries here. Pickle, mayo, cheese. Now this bacon is unfortunately not my favorite kind of bacon. You'll find that bacon here that seems to be a little undercooked. And uh, that looks to be the case here. But uh, yeah, pretty good looking burger nonetheless, right? And when you're done having your hamburger at Yellow Sub, you can walk right next door to this brand new cafe that just opened up and get yourself a nice coffee. That's good. Banana muffin. Five burgers for Paul. Five, one burger, my friend, one burger. Look at that. It's not bad, man. Look at here, dude. The size of that. I gotta put this in my mouth. Ah. So the top is a uh, really cool. They have one in Shashi. This is their new location with an extended menu. Look at the amount of French fries they give you here. My God. I mean, the burger itself is relatively small, but my God. All of this here costs about 40 yuan. The burger itself is not very large. It's rather small, but then again, it's not very expensive. You can just get a burger for like three dollars. It's a nice little snack, but the amount of fries they give you, whew, I'll take it home and enjoy it this afternoon. Back to Mu Tech Burger here across the street from Ijong, uh, number one middle school. Very, very good burgers. An incredible burger menu. All different kinds. They got like a, a Mexican guacamole, of course, a Hawaiian. And then they've got one that's like a triple stack. And then they got another one that's like five patties. And it's insane. It's this giant stack burger. And if you can eat it in less than five minutes, it's free. This is the Mexican guacamole. That's the fried chicken one there. That's good. That sauce is like... Is it good? Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's got that nice little spice to it, a kick to it, right? This is the Hawaiian. Tonight I've come to Shalan, to a place they call, <laughs> it's like one of these uh, converted, you know, hipster joint places, the internet celebrity town. There's bars and coffee shops and a burger place right here. Hunger Burger. Just found out that this hamburger place is owned by a former student of mine. Look at that. Double cheeseburger. This one is, wow, there's a big tomato in that one. That's a Hawaiian burger. That's the Hawaiian with the pineapple. Oh, wow, look at that, okay. And then this is just a classic. Mm. Okay, with fries. Look at that. Look how messy that is. With a little bit of uh, ham on it, too. Okay. So the Red Garlic is a restaurant that was recently introduced to me here in the city of Jungmen, which is a city next to Zhongshan. Not too far. It's a little bit of a drive, but I've been told that this place not only has some great pizzas and steaks, but also very good hamburgers. So I'm here to try it out. It's in this um, little alleyway. It's not easy to find. Again, it's not big. It's pretty small, but it's got a really kind of romantic looking feel in there. So this is an Australian beef, burger, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion. A pretty toasted bun, it even has some bacon on there, all right. And I love the giant steak fries in a beautiful setting. That was an excellent hamburger. A little bit of a smoky flavor to it. Lots of pickles. The sliced tomato on it had like, it wasn't like a, a messy tomato. It was very thinly sliced just added flavor without adding messiness. Great toasted bun and very thick potato-y steak fries, but there are so many other things on this menu that I'm gonna have to come back. Chicken 
hamburger. Look at that. Oh my god. I've talked about Pacho's before, but recently they got some new burgers. Some new meats and buns and everything, and I've heard some good things about it, so I wanted to come back and check it out. Oh my god. It's damn good. It's like a cheese with a honey mustard cream on top. Mm. Mm, fantastic. We talked about Grain Yo Bakehouse before in the past. This is in Sanxiang. They have great hamburgers, an incredible menu here. A little bit far from the center of town, but well worth the drive. I love the salad that it comes with. It's got this like lemony, fresh kind of dressing on it. It's really good. I got the uh, chicken burger today. I like how it's cut and off centered. Alright, we'll give that a try. Chicken, steak, cheese, tomato, lettuce. Pretty thick. Let's see if I can get it in my mouth. Mm. Mm. The cheese and the mayo. Pretty good compliment to that to that uh, chicken. Mm. So one of the places I've been meaning to do a hamburger uh, video for, for a long time is Friends Bar. If you don't know, Friends Bar is the place to be. It's a legendary bar here in Zhongshan. If you're hungry, if you're looking for a good time, this is the place to come. And let me show you why. Oh my god. Look at that. It's a bacon, bacon, lettuce, and cheese with pickle. The thing is, it's not drowning in sauce like so many other hamburgers that I see. Especially on a Thursday night for the burger and beer special. You come here, you get a burger, you have a beer with your friends, and you have a good time. That's oh, what man. makes Friends Bar so yeah. amazing. You know, it's not a large burger, but man, if you go to other hamburger places, the burgers are that big, and you have to unhinge your jaw to get it into your mouth. What I like about this, it's manageable. It's not a Burger King or McDonald's thing. I mean, look at that. That looks like what it looks like in the picture. Ghost Burger is kind of a famous thing here in Zhongshan. He's hard to find. Uh, he's a different place every time. Tonight he's in uh, Bai Shui Jing, which is this, uh, this uh, kind of that nightlife area here in the old part of town. And these hamburgers are supposed to be some of the best in the city. In fact, he often sells out and oftentimes you need a reservation. <laughs> it's uh, remarkably cold this evening, so I had to bring it back to my car, it just smells so good. Now, it's not a big burger, but everyone's raving about these. Incredibly nice guy, and I can't wait to try this. All fresh ingredients, fresh fresh, uh, fresh beef patty, it's not frozen at all. Pickle, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. All the uh, regular accoutrement, and it doesn't seem too messy either, but <laughs> we'll find out when I bite into it. Oh. oh my God, that is a really good burger. I can see why it's so popular. The meat is delicious. There's a seasoning on the meat that is fantastic, but he's got fresh pickles in this. So it's very pickly and I kind of like that. It goes with the, um, the seasoning of the meat really, really well. I think this is honestly the best hamburger I've had in Zhongshan. And for 25 renminbi, <clears throat> you know, again, it's not just one. You, you're going to want to eat two of these. As people told me, Paul, they're that good that you're going to want to eat more than one. And uh, yeah, I feel it. I inhaled that just one <laughs> in one sitting a couple minutes. It was gone. Oh, that is good. So, you know, people tell you, hey, Paul, check this guy out. Check this guy out. And it took me forever to find him. I finally found him. If you don't know, Ghost Burger. This guy is legit.